Howdy boyos and welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 with the German Soldiers mod. As always, the link to the mods I'm using in this video will be in the description both to the German Soldiers mod and to this mission mod which includes four or five missions for I think like Germany, Japan, America and Russia. Uh, and this is one of the German missions, obviously, as we're tasked to defend this little French town somewhere in Normandy during the, uh, you know, uh, invasion month, I guess I, sh I, sh I should call it, uh, June of 1944. We have a, a Tiger II, a lot of Waffen-SS and Panzergrenadier, uh, a lot of pac 40s around as well, and we also have access to Stugs. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Panzer fours. Um, I'm not really sure what the objective is of this mission because I think it's just defend until you die or something. But I hope you guys like this. And if you like this video, let me know in the comment section what you thought of it. And uh, maybe give me some ideas for stuff to do. And uh, last but not least, if you like the video, drop a like on the video and, uh, wait, what, 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 oh, hang on, I was trying to freaking, there we go, drop a like on the video, and like I said, let me know what you thought of it, if you enjoyed it or whatever, and, uh, we're just gonna stay here and defend this village, uh, this should be pretty bloody, considering that I have a very good defensive line, uh, with Stugs and freaking, or Stugs, sorry, Stugs, pack 88, uh, pack 88s here, with the, um, pack, I guess pack 43 is what the, with the pack 88 gun, uh, which is an 88 millimeter gun that you can also find on, for example, the uh, Yak Tiger. No, not the not, not the Yak Tiger. The Yak Panther and the King Tiger and the um, well, I guess the, the pr prototype versions of the uh, Panthers, like the later Panthers that weren't ever made. Uh, we have a lot of we even have mortars set up here, which are, I think. Oh no, never mind. These are the normal mortars. They just felt like they, like they were a lot bigger. Uh, what is this? Oh, we have a, a couple of guys here defending, and I'm not sure what their objective is other than, like, dying, but we'll charge this guy forward with the Panzer Shrek. You will survive. Fire! Oh, okay, we got him. Hey, let's run around, run around, run, 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 run. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> okay, well, the mortars are... Oh, God, there goes my Panzer Shrek. The mortars are not letting down, that's for sure. This guy is still alive, however, so maybe we can... Have him to grab his Panzer Shrek again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, let's go. Grab it. Run up, run up, run up, run up. Get behind the wall. Let's go slow mo. Oh, never mind. He got killed. I was going to go slow motion, kill that thing, but never mind. All right, we have a King Tiger who is uh, holding down the main road next to the church. We have Churchill's with, uh, I think, 76 millimeter guns coming in. Let's try and see if we can. Yeah, oh, 75 millimeter guns. Well, close enough. Just like, it's like one millimeter or less. Uh, let's try to see if we can shoot him right here through a little plate in the hole next to the coaxial there, or the uh, hole machine gun. Nope, that's a bounce. The Churchills obviously are very well armed and armored. Well, mostly armored. Um, but I guess so is the King Tiger. Um, I do really like the King Tiger. It's one of those tanks that, as a kid, uh, when I played um, close combat, which is a game I really want to play for my channel at some point in the very near future. Pr probably when I'm done playing a uh, war game, I'll play a, a close combat game until, you know, for a little bit. Uh, but right now, I'm obviously doing my war game Red Dragon campaign. But yeah, when, when that's done, I'll actually take a look and see if uh, close combat is a game I can play. Because it is like a 19... The one I own, anyway, is like a 1990-something game, which it is very... Oh, God is very noticeable in some regards, but it still is a very good, I guess, simulation game. So it'd be interesting to see what you guys think of that. So worst case scenario, I'll make one video where you guys will be like, oh my God, Sherman, this is so boring. And then you'll hate me forever. But no, I'll probably play that. But yeah, I'm going to wait till I play that until I play or finish the uh, Red Dragon campaign, which by the way, we're doing really good. But I mean, that's a whole different video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really important right now. As you can hear, I'm very hyped. I just had a lot of coffee. What the f what the fu This is why Men of War is such a great game. Oh, I was trying to shoot him through it. Well, this is going to be kind of scary because that Churchill is going to basically just be a very lo large amount of space to arbor for this second Churchill. Let's see if we can track him then. No, that was just a miss. Yeah, no, uh, Close Combat is one of those games that really made me like the King Tiger. Um, and again, a lot, I guess a lot of people like King Tiger just because it's like such a 
cool looking tank. Wow, this thing just got wrecked. Probably maybe like the big pack. Maybe that's what hit it. I don't know. A lot of infantry around. Uh, let's actually grab a in, an infantry uh, truck. Come on. Why are you not allowing me to buy infantry? You're not allowing me to buy infantry? Well, that's awkward. I know there, there was like an ability to buy infantry before, but I guess I lost an ability somehow. Let's let's send our uh, Schwerer Ferret Haubitze on the way. Let's have them engage. Oh, they sound so good. Are they gonna fire? Oh, well, rip those guys. Fuck it. Now let's aim somewhere else then. Fire? Are you gonna fire? When it hits, it makes a really nice sound. I don't know. I think that's a shell. Like. I think that's a shell, like, landing at the position. But those. Those are doing a really nice job. I think these are 150s. Yeah, they're, they're doing a very good job of keeping these guys at bay. Uh, left side is uh, still very secure. We still have a Panzer IV holding. Our King Tiger is still definitely in control of that area. We have infantry charging with a Sherman. Let's see if we can get a, um, a Stug. A Sturmgeschutz for the left area-ish. Make sure we put them on... Stop moving. Put him far left. I'll put him like far in this left field here. Because I think he has the, yeah, he has the uh, unkillable remote controlled machine gun. So it'd be really nice for infantry and tank killing to have over here. Then uh, the front line's still very much holding. Their tanks are just getting obliterated. It's like a freaking graveyard of just American and, well, I guess they're British tanks only. British Sherman's just over here. Uh, oh, there's a Sherman right there. Load AP. Keep moving forward. And foya! Well, one of us got him. He's not dead though, he's still only damaged. Let's foya. Foya! Oh, he, okay, he just got whole crush and engine destroyed. And freaking everything, so that's never definitely not coming back anytime soon. Uh, this stug is still fine. Actually, let's move the stuck up on this hill over here. Probably be a good idea. My game is like slowly dying. It's now like 16 FPS from just all this carnage and flames and explosions and. Just stuff going on in the map. More Shimmer 2s, more Cromwells. Uh, let's uh, keep this a little bit moving up. Ooh, can we hit him? Can we hit him? Can we hit him? Nah, damn it. Alright, let's uh, load, let's switch. Oh, well, I was going to say, these uh, these pack 43s are obviously going to demolish whatever they sent at us for so far. Because these things are just... Retardedly big. Look, just look at this. Look at how big this gun is compared to like the the average soldier. Like that is insane. Then to think they would put this in this, just like I mean, I've stood I've stood next to one of these in a um, museum in Münster. I want to say in Germany. Like they had a, they had an actual King Tiger. I think it was the later version. So that's the Henschel turret, right? I think they had the Henschel turret King Tiger there because that's that's what this looks like, and. It was just so insanely big. Like I'm, I'm a big guy. I'm like um, 200 pounds for Americans. Like 100, looks like under, just under. Like I'm like 95 kilos or something. And I'm like six foot something. I'm like 190 centimeters large or tall. So oh god, fucking holy shit. So I'm not a small guy, like by any stretch of the imagination. But that was just ridiculous. And I stood next to Panthers and. Uh, an IS before and T-34s and Panzer IVs and I've basically seen like every like normal line tank like Panzer IVs, Panzer IIIs, uh, Panzer IIs, T-34s and every single variant, Shermans and every single variant but just standing next to a King Tiger was just absolutely phenomenal and just the, hang on let me just get a guy out of here and just like see, like this is just like a, like a rev, like a average Guy, look, look how big that tank is. Like, there, you could fit one, like, one, two. You could probably fit, like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. You could probably fit, like, a good eight guys in a row. Maybe even nine. Like, right, right, like, like, right next to each other. Like, on the side of the tank. And then you could probably fit two on top of each other before you get to the... That's just insane. That is just ridiculous. Like, there was a uh, Tiger Angst. Or, I guess, Tiger Scare. 
was a thing, especially in the first uh, months of the invasion, I believe, where American soldiers would just see like Panzer IVs or, um, or, or or other German tanks would just like shout Tiger because they were afraid of Tigers. And that's just a normal Tiger. That's not even like a King Tiger that they were scared of. Well, I mean, they probably were scared of the King Tiger later in the war, but they didn't like... It's just, just ridiculous when you think of that. Hang on, let me let me destroy this uh, Churchill over here for a second. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, wow, just a trap, double track, but the pack, uh, I probably hit him very low then. Let's try and shoot him again. Inside a turret, it's gonna blow him up ridiculously nicely. Or, he flies over and hits a guy behind there. Your life must really suck if you get hit from like an AT gun that misses a tank that's like the size of a fucking barn. And that shell doesn't, ooh, nice, that actually did damage. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's turn it around, because there's a lot more targets over here. Okay, pack still going absolutely ham. Still have guys ready. Still have nothing to repair. This is fine. That's dead. We're still holding on. This might just be an endless defense until we die, which would be interesting because by then I don't think the game would like make me lose, but just the FPS would make me kill like myself. Like my computer would probably die before I get to the end of this mission. All right, switch front. Achtung! Feuer! Oh, wow, we hit the tank. Yeah, no, but like I was just saying, like, just, it's understandable when you see, like, how, when you, like, physically have actually, like, stood next to, like, one of these big tanks, and then you realize, like, you know, we're looking at these in a museum. Like, we're looking at these things from a whole different standpoint. Like, I, I don't go to a museum and think, like, oh, my God, this thing is, like, wanting to kill me. Like, it's just weird to think. But that sounded really nice. It's a shame to kill this thing. It sounded, that BESA sounded really nice. Yeah, it's just weird to think that, like, these things were, like, made to kill people, and then, I don't know, there was people, like, tasked with, like, destroying them with, like, maybe a Panzerfaust. Like, if thinking about, like, an IS-2 in the middle of Berlin, and then, like, a Russian, like, f or German 15-year-old with, like, a Panzerfaust tasked to take, I like such a metal beast. That just sounds... Fucking gotta hear fly. That just sounds weird to me. So we're holding the right side. A lot of this stuff has been burned from, I guess, exploding tanks. The, my frames are also burning to like 15 FPS right now. It's not too noticeable. Uh, we are still capable of holding. Let's get another Panzer IV. We still have the points for one. And then that's the last one. So now we're out of points, but that's fine. And we'll send him down here. And this guy has to repair because he's got fucking two places which are damaged. Is it a tiger? No, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? Okay, well, these AT guns are running low on ammo. <laughs> They're running low on freaking ammo. That's not good. Let's load a heat and try and get a heat kill. That'd be nice. Let's try and find a target here. Right, let's wait. Let's wait. Oh! We heat it. Nice. Get wrecked, boy. Oh, this thing is almost out of ammo, basically, so that's- I might as well just get these guys out of here now. Um, so I know these tanks, I think it's the Panzer IVs, they need an extra crew member. Because for some reason the game only gives them, uh, four crew members out of the five they need in this- in this game. Um, on this mod. Oh, there goes my turret. You don't have anything? Okay, well, your- your job, Jugend Koch, Jugend Koch. Oi, Jugend Koch, it's not your job to protect Germany's. Da 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 Oh god, he fucked it up. Oh god, he fucked it up. Oh god, he fucked it up. Da 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 I'm waiting for you to reload. Da 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 Reload, I'm spamming the left. Oh god. Now, get out of there, boy. He did, he did get him. Oh, well, he his last job for the Fatherland was to kill that one Cromwell. It's gonna suck, because then there was another guy over here, which, which probably, like, totally saved his butt, apparently. So that's really sad. No Panzer Fats, only Panzer Shrek, so, you know, hmm. We're still holding on. Our King Tiger is still blasting people away. It's got a lot of kills already. We have uh, Panzer IV over here, still fine. These things are running... Actually, they're not running low ammo at all. These things are at 125% efficiency. 
That's good. Let's move. Uh, let's repair it. What the fuck? Where are we damaged? Let's move you up here because we need to protect our assets over here and especially the uh, very important asset of a fucking pack 43. So we'll send you forward and these guys are still fine. We actually, how do keep these people? They must have like taken an AP shell that was aimed at the Panzer IV here, but it missed and then hit the guys behind it. That's the only like way I think that happened. All right, let's repair this. Double repair, boys. Get you out of here, get by the tank, and then we'll get one of you to run over here. And we'll be the fifth crew member. Our stug is holding the ground. Do we throw a chicken? Let's just let's just throw a Nazi chicken. Let's try to hit someone with it. It'd be great. All right, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have to. Did he just kill it? No, they killed my chicken, fuckers. All right, fuck it, we're going back. You will not survive, I am very mad. I have to now HE you in the face before I die. Well, you're, you're dead already, that sucks. Oh God, there's a lot of tanks coming. Let's hold heat for the Sherman. I know Sher Sherman's can die to the heat in one shot, most likely. Ooh, nice direct hit, didn't do anything damage though. Oh, turret destroyed. Heat missed for some reason. Track damage on the Cromwell. Loading heat, side of the turret, side of the hull, most likely, actually. Wow, no, it didn't even do any damage. All right, well, that Sherman's pretty much screwed over with the track being down. AP right behind the turret. Ammo script tank, very useful message. He's down, and the, I think Carmel's already dead. Well, he's already dead, never mind. Oh, there's a Sherman trying to engage the Stug. Oh, damn. I do like how... Uh, those explosions like came into like all the mods now. I think I first saw them in Rob's mod and then other mobs, mobs, muds, mods started taking them as well, like into them. They look very, they look very good. Even my King Tiger is taking some damage. Let's repair that. Uh, there's a big explosion over there, Jesus Christ. I do like how my friends got a little bit better the more tanks I kill, but also their smoke from the tanks went away, I guess. So it's, my frames got a little bit better. Try to shoot one of these tanks just for, for fun. Oh, there you go. Ammo burning. I do like that. I do like just shooting tanks now because they they cook off so nicely if you hit their ammo or something. Or they blow up in general. It just looks too good. It's just too enjoyable not to watch. Um, It's, retar it's retarded to think how far this game came from like just... How far this game has come from just being like a... Not boring, but, you know, comparing it this to, like, oh, God, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Nope, we got him. Starting to lose. Did they stop sending reinforcements? Was that everything? Do we just have to kill people now? It's possible. Hold on. No, what? why would you fire at that angle? Like, why would you even waste your shot? Why would you even fucking waste that round? Like, are you fucking stupid? Oh, that was a good hit, but didn't do anything. Kind of annoyed, but we, what I'll do is actually, I'll uh, set this uh, Stefan Borg will be my victorious German Waffen is this guy switching to the TNT. We're gonna just drop a TNT right here, blow up this uh, Churchill. This seems to be just cleaning up the waves, and we've won. So let's throw our TNT right here. And wh why? What? What's wrong with your fucking hands? Right, let's grab this TNT then. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We've not, we've not done it. We've not done it yet. We have to kill this one Churchill first. Wow, your throwing is way off, you fucking plebe. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that tank's gone. So I, 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 I'd like to think we did it, because it said mission completed. I didn't look at the stats, but uh, we did do our... Can we see that anywhere? Oh, we can. That's awkward. Well, um... Thank you for watching. Well, that, that was a weird ending. I was trying to look at the kills, but we did not lose a single tank. I guess the Panzer IV that we, one of the Panzer IVs we had did get wrecked, but it didn't die. 
So technically speaking, we didn't lose a single tank. So I guess thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to say awesome. And I'd love to see you in the next one. Cheers.